So I've been taking rust off and putting the Pickle X20 on all the metal parts. You've seen the frame. Here's a trailer load. Of course, I'm not going to paint the brake rotors, at least not the surface of them. Uh, trailer load full of stuff. There's a gas tank under that gas tank cover. And it's not done yet. But this is basically the pieces to the most of the front suspension and brakes. I, I shouldn't even say most of the front because I'm thinking to get tubular trailing or, or control arms. And uh, so control arms aren't here. Um, sway bar's not here. So springs aren't here because I'm thinking about getting coil over shocks. So that's just the stuff that I've got done so far. <clears throat> wasn't going to video any of this, but then I got to this front piece that I've got a few pieces on here that need to be de-rusted. And it's pretty complicated to take it apart, it looks, because there's all kind of bolts that stick through. There's no nut. I'm assuming that it's just through the metal here. And that once I take off these screws, they're hard to see. There's some screws here holding them on. Uh, right there. I'm assuming that once I take those off, this rubber piece will come out and that those are just bolts that are fastened on the inside of this bracket. But I wanted to make sure that I had the uh, a video of how this thing went together because there's a lot of nuts and bolts on it and I want to make sure I can put it back together. So we're going to start with these two pieces here each side. Um, these appear to be held on by two bolts. Once those are off, then it'll give us access to some more bolts and we'll see what we have to do from there. Okay, where possible today I'm going to use power tools for speed and little effort reduction for me because I had a little tumble yesterday and hurt my shoulder a little bit, so uh, amazing. Do all this work on cars, I had like two little nicks cut wise, and all I'm done, and then I could hurt walking. It's crazy. But, anyways, so I'm, I'm gonna be using these particles where possible. Some, um, some places you can't get into with a socket set even like this. So I'm going to take these bolts out, those two bolts out, and remove these. So I had to step back and reevaluate what I was doing here because as I started to take that apart, I found out that what's holding that together is carriage bolts. The one is accessible over here, that's the one I got out, but the other one is inside this metal casing. I started looking at the casing and I saw this rubber thing poking through it and I was like, uh-oh, if that thing's attached to this rubber, there's no way I'm going to get that out and back in. Well, it turns out it's actually not attached. I was able to look under there. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off all these bolts on the back side. Uh, looks like there's some 3 8 and probably 5 8 bolts that are holding the metal part onto the rubber part. So I am going to take those off and see if that gets me access to that third bolt that is holding this on because if I can't get into that, I don't want to take that one out because I won't be able to, there's no way to get your hand in there to put the bolt back in. So apparently this has to come out. I hope it's not glued in or anything like that. Uh, otherwise I won't be able to take that apart to paint it. So it was a little bit surprising when I took out two of those bolts that they are that long. I suspect what they do is they bolt this piece on and this is probably a separate piece. But doesn't want to come off so when you turn this over it looks like there's a nut right there that is also attached to that front piece. And off the top of my head I'm having trouble seeing whether that's 5 eighths or 9 sixteenths. But I'm going to need a deep socket. I think it's 9 8 sixteenths. So it is a 9 sixteenths. We're going to take that off and see if that front piece comes off. This is loose. Okay, the nuts in the socket there. that's got to come off or just lose it. And hopefully that will take that front piece off. Can't get it with these gloves on. Gotta go get a pick and dig that out of there. This pick was just what was needed to get under that washer and pull it off. Now, I think those bolts are all loose. Uh -huh. There's two more bolts behind there. This is going to be one of those cases where what you need is a super long extension. I'll show you in a minute. So you could get in there with a, a wrench and have a little bit of a swing, but it's much easier if you have a big long extension. This is 18 or 20 inches. Impact wrench. 
more appropriate, but... Probably saw once I got those bolts out, it almost wanted to fall apart, so I supported the front end in the vise. And I was right, this, this piece was held on with those three nuts, but also these two very long bolts. So I'm going to put those all back together. Put this on the side. Once that was out, this whole rubber piece comes right out. And that won't need to be painted or anything. And you do have access from in here to the uh, carriage bolts that hold these two pieces on. So actually They're nice they're nice because they protect your hands, but it's really hard to work with them sometimes. This is difficult even with that gloves. There you are. Okay, let's bolt it. Bolt it in from the inside. And now I will take the two bolts off that hold the other side on and that will be ready to be de-rusted. After I got that off, I went to put back the two bolts that uh, held those two struts on. I went to put those bolts back in and I noticed there's three more bolts. It didn't look like they were holding anything in, but on closer examination, this is a separate piece. So those three bolts can come out and this piece will come off. So all those carriage bolts are out of there. This simply lifts off and I can get ready to clean this stuff up for painting. One final point is that whenever I was taking this front part, these that were holding these shims on did not need to come out. They weren't holding anything. What they are is where you mount to that air tank in that front right there. But for taking the um, crash bumper apart, they are not 
required to be removed. So now that I've got a few pieces that need to be cleaned up for painting, that'll take up the rest of my day. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.